This is a short video to show you how to access some of the hands or all of the hands that you've played on BBO. And I've logged into BBO. There are two ways of accessing your hands. You can do it within the BBO client or you can do it on the web. And I'll show you both ways. So having logged in, let's go to the history tab. And I've just logged in. I'm not at a table and if I look at my table, which is where results normally go, you'll see there, there are none there. And that's because I haven't played any in this session. The hands I've played recently at normal tables or perhaps in a competition, the last, I guess it's the last 50 looking at this, um, are all stored here. So once they're stored here, uh, if you go down into the diagram of the hand there is a menu here where you can work through the hand show the double dummy what can happen or export the hand to send it to someone else save it as a deal in a folder which i've covered in another video um, and just show you, let's show double dummy here for the four hearts contract it didn't matter what reg two led he was either going to give me an over trick or two over tricks, because those are numbers in green, uh, whatever he led. Assuming I could see all the cards, which of course I couldn't, and I only made the contract exactly. Also listed here are also your recent tournaments. So all of the tournaments that you played uh, with all the scores, scores at the other tables. Uh, and you can click on the results which will give you, I think, a nicer list. And if you click on this open a new win window, it will open the hands on the web. So you can look at them there. So on the BBO client, it is in the history tab that you can see all of the hands you've played. So let's log off now and see how we access them on the web so we'll go to bridgebase.com we'll just take and you'll see on bridgebase.com there's a, a link to hand records so we'll go to hand records and this is what's known as the my hands database you need to log in with your bbo username and password and it allows you to access all of the hands that you've played over the last two days by default you can actually do it for a month so you can say get all hands that i've played for a month and it'll show you all the hands i've played in iceland monday lockdown swiss i played in sbu tuesday pairs i played in a team match with paul lamford for a, and in the gold cup and you can click on any of these hands and bring up a movie and work your way see what happened use gib the double dummy to see what people could do it says one in red which means if they defend perfectly i'll go one down so all of the hands are available here um, on the my hands database you can also see the results of all recent tournaments, team matches by clicking on this link. So if we go to say teams, I ran a lot of teams matches yesterday for Scotland against South Africa. Um, I imagine they're both here. If I do a search for Paul G, yes, we'll see here the team match, one of them that I ran around between Scotland and South Africa. This was one of Scotland's best sets because they only lost by one imp. But again, you can click on any any hand record to see what's what happened. Uh, board one was an interesting hand. A lot of people bid to six spades. Uh, not a particularly successful contract, but as you can see, it was mainly a misfit. So that's how you can access all of your hands. Uh, whether that's a good thing or not, it depends how well you've played.